Mm. Yep. Oh yeah. Get that pork in there. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Sounds good. Sweet mama cat. Oh yeah. This here is phase one. I'm gonna cook a lot of that fat out of that Joel bacon there. Because nobody likes a big slimy piece of pork when they're eating their beans, you know. I do. Half that ham. Half that ham, Damon. Yeah. Do we like, we like a little ham with our ham. What would you say the biggest difference between ham and bacon is, Joey? Bacon comes from the pork belly. The ham comes from the, uh, the rump of bacon. First can is usually a wild. First can is fireworks. Get them beans in there. Phase two. Oh yeah. Phase two, we put the beans in. And this is a complicated process of taking each gallon of beans and pouring it in. We do just a little stir here, not too much, but just to get that bacon up to the surface there. And that's phase two. Well, this is the portion of the process where we hand dip out the, the fresh green beans out of a can. And these fine young gentlemen carted off to the hungry masses. How are the masses this year? What? Don't talk at once now. Notice the hand dipping process increases the flavor of the bean has a natural aeration from all right there you go get it up there Hercules see you later there they go there's our product oh, it's tough to see them go spend so much time on them oh that's looking good there and now the ultimate eating of the beans. So I mean, I love I love my car. It's just it's hard to have a lot of issues. Oh, oh my God! Nectar of the Lord. Success. <laughs> Ancient texts have revealed that uh, cleaning the kettle and preserving it for its long storage is an art that is disappearing from the Western nations. So we've lightly scoured the surface, making sure not to remove this year's cooking layer we put on, which enhances the flavor of next year's beans, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Pretty soon the lard will be applied. Somebody asked him. It happened uh, the year before, it hadn't happened this year. Jackson. What? Wipe it in there, worm. We about it all and then it is applied. Long. And our hope is that next year this lard layer will preserve the metal beneath. Fog up the floors. Seal it up. Very important. But 
We won't bore you with the details of this kettle. Look at this. This one's still ready producing chicken juice. Where's all that chicken juice going? <laughs> right over that hill. Nobody needs that overboiled chicken juice. I tasted some of that chicken last year. But you can get a good big handful of MSG like everybody else did. It's all gone. And this ends this recording. 80% will be cut, usually, 80%. I'm gonna remember you, Chaco. I've got you now in my camera. Every time